Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft 1.18.2 has been released, version 22W06A with new health and safety features for South Korea and a new technical tag system. My name is Slice Lime, and I'm here to take you on a comprehensive tour of all the changes. Let's start with those health and safety features. If your computer locale is South Korea, the game will now show a toast every hour you play with a health and safety notice. The text in English is you've been playing for X hours? or you've been playing for greater than 24 hours, if that's the case. That is followed by excessive gaming may interfere with normal daily life. The game isn't restricted in any way, it's simply a message that pops up regularly. Let's move on to some changes with world generation. The super flat preset Waterworld now has 64 layers of deep slate at the bottom, which means monuments no longer generate above the surface of the water there. In gameplay news, if you had a parrot on your shoulder while using a Riptide Enchanted Trident, you would kill your pet parrot when you took off. The parrot will now instead dismount and live happily ever after. A single visual bug has also been fixed. When you point your camera straight up and use fireworks rockets to fly, there are no longer particles flashing across your screen. We're also going to talk about the technical changes in this version with that new tag system, but let me first take a quick moment to ask you to tag the like button. That helps get YouTube to show the video to more viewers, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's talk about tags. Previously, you would create tags for certain select features in the game. That has now been expanded, so you can create tags for everything that the game has in a so-called registry. If you don't know which registries exist or what they contain, you can look in the registries.json file that the built-in data generator can produce. I'll leave a command line in the video description that you can use. Basically, this means you can now make tags for everything from blocks and items to biomes, tree decorator types or villager professions. Of course, being able to make these tags doesn't necessarily mean that you can actually use them for anything useful, but this opens up for further interesting developments in the future. However, some new tag types are already used in custom world definitions, which we'll get to in a second. Tags for types that already supported tags are still defined in the same place, but all other types follow a new pattern. That pattern is data slash your namespace slash tags slash and the registry name. In practice, this means the tag name is in singular rather than plural. Let's talk about custom worlds and let's start with the tag changes in custom world formats. Anything that references a tag by name now needs a hash symbol prefix. You can also write a single entry instead of without a hash or directly write a list of entries there. If you name a single entry or a list of entries, you get an anonymous tag, which works just like a list of entries. This new format is now used for several block lists, which are now block tags. Can be placed on in glow like in feature configurations, valid blocks in spring feature configurations, and the blocks field in the matching blocks block predicate. Similarly, the valid fluids field in the matching fluids block predicates is now a fluid tag. The features list in the simple random selector feature configuration is now a placed feature tag. Inside the biome files there are also two places that now take tags. The value of each carver type is now a carver tag and each feature step now has a placed feature tag. If you have a custom world with the checkerboard biome source that now also takes a biome tag as its biomes field. Note that in the vanilla files these are still specified as inline lists even if they are tags and could be named and specified in external files. Some tag fields now require the hash symbol prefix even if they can't accept an inline list yet. Those places are the infiniburn block tag field in dimension types, the cannot replace and invalid block tags in geode feature configurations, the replaceable field in vegetation patches and waterlogged vegetation patches, the root replaceable field in root system features and the protected blocks field in structure processors. There are also some structure placement format changes. The structures field in noise settings no longer has a structures and a stronghold subfield. Instead, all structures are listed in one map directly under structures and each one now has a placement type. This type is either random spread, which applies for all structure types except strongholds, and strongholds instead have concentric rings as their type. Random spread placements also have two new optional fields. One is spread type, which can be specified as triangular, and one is an optional block position offset called locate offset. Note that you still cannot specify custom structure starts. Let's also talk about a bug fix for structure blocks. They now rotate entities correctly while loading, but mirroring still doesn't fully work. A new file has also been added to resources. It's called regional underscore compliances.json and contains information about the hourly pop-ups displayed in South Korea. 
The top level of the file is a map of locales to lists of events. Let's end with a known issue in this snapshot. If you try to open a beacon user interface, the game will crash. Don't do that. That's it for this time. Thanks for tagging along to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to know more about what's coming in Minecraft 1.18.2, I've got another great video for you right here.